It took just 24 hours for us to lose control of the city. Tonight, Gotham's relying on one man to save us all. Or so, that's what the internet wants you to believe. Hi y'all, I'm Bayfund, and I know, Everyone is dying for a new adaptation of Berserk. I'm pretty sure every anime fan has Berserk on their bucket list, right up there on the tippy top, right next to No Game, No Life, and whatever anime you fell in love with that never got a season two. What I'm trying to say is a lot of people love Berserk, and they want an adaptation that handles the source material faithfully. Something that tries to capture the essence of what Miura Sensei was trying to get at. Not an uppercut in the face with the jankiest animation we've ever seen. Something that's actually worthy to call itself Berserk. So bing boom bop, we're now here in present day where Studio Eclipse has said that they're working on a brand new series, an animation of Berserk that's gonna be treated in original 2D aesthetic to try and capture what is Berserk. A lot of people saw this on Twitter, screen grabbed it and put it on TikTok and YouTube, you know, trying to spread the word of an actual Berserk adaptation that's gonna do everything perfectly. But they have missed out on saying a few key things. The biggest, most glaring thing that's staring everyone down down is the fact that Studio Eclipse isn't actually a real anime studio. Something that even the teeniest little bit of digging will let you know. They're a fan studio, and these guys are devoted into pouring their hearts into whatever they're working on. And it seems like for the past two years, aside from this berserk adaptation that they just started pre-production on, they were working on the very controversial Attack on Titan Requiem. An adaptation of the fan story that's an alternate ending to Attack on Titan, because a lot of people weren't satisfied with that one. So they made a story that was in its own right, not the best received. But hey, we get to see how their animations kind of play out with this. Now I would say that Studio Eclipse does a fairly neat job. Everything here looks nice and smooth and crisp, but I will say that they are short snippets. We haven't seen anything to the extent of a full-on anime episode from them yet. So where people are going on and saying that Berserk's finally gonna get the anime adaptation that it deserves, it's kind of unfounded. I mean, at the end of the day, 2016 Berserk is still out there and it's still gonna be ingrained in, you know, the cultural consciousness. It's not something that people can just easily forget about and it is gonna be, for the time being, the last official Berserk adaptation. But if you wanna go further back, I think there has been a good, worthy Berserk adaptation, and that's the 97 anime. An absolutely gorgeous anime, and it's a shame that we haven't seen more in this style. But I guess what I wanna say is that I think it's kind of weird that this particular anime project has been just so hyped, because fan animations aren't new in the realm of Berserk. I mean, Frankly, Berserk is probably one of the series that has the most amounts of fan animations, AMVs, whatever the hell you wanna call them. Really talented people have tried to bring this world to life numerous amounts of times. I mean, just look up Berserk animations on YouTube. Hey, you're gonna get pages and pages full of this stuff. Guts battling demons, guts covered in actual guts, fiery set pieces or spooky, scary set pieces. You know, you can pretty much get your fill of what you're looking for when it comes to Berserk here. I'm just kind of shocked about how this fan studio has been able to garner so much attention with this preview, which of course, of course, it looks nice, and of course, I'm looking forward to it too, but still, it's another fan animation. If they try to commercialize anything here, they'll probably get shut down faster than we can yell help. It is what it is. Reading more about how this is gonna be made is kind of interesting. They say that they're gonna try and go back to a 2D aesthetic, something that's gonna be more faithful to the actual series. But then again, there's gonna be some elements in here that kind of like threw me off a little bit. Of course, they're gonna be using traditional animators, but they're also gonna be playing their hand in AI in this too. So I'm only just thinking about how that's gonna be implemented for the story. Maybe they're gonna be putting in the actual artwork from the manga and trying to make that into the background art or some things like that. Because, you know, it would be absolutely impossible to capture Miura's art style like this. Because I think that if they're gonna be using AI for like character designs and especially their faces, it's not really gonna play out too well. And who knows how long this is gonna take to make. I mean, it's just in pre-production. The Attack on Titan previews that they have have been sitting here for like nine months. So I can tell you that if they're gonna try and release like a full-on series, it's gonna take them a hell of a long time. Which means, in the meantime, I can tell you about another fan animation that I'm looking forward to too. And that's one made by a guy named All in All. You might know that name, you might not, but his art is really something. I'm a big fan of esoteric, weird art styles, and this guy absolutely nails that aesthetic. He's made some outrageous videos about Elder Scroll, like pulling from the deepest parts of lore and making some of the best, most weird, unnerving videos you've ever seen. And he's also been making stuff for anime too. He's made stuff for Stone Ocean, The Old Bar Run, and of course, Berserk. 
And the most recent animation project that he's been promoting is his new Berserk video that's gonna be coming out soon, which is so absolutely stunning. When I load up this video, I get chills by how immaculate the tone is. That atmosphere that this is able to build is so stellar. That and the combination of these professional sounding voice actors, oh my God, it just seems so fantastic. I cannot be more excited for this one. And to be honest, I'm more excited for this than I am for Studio Clipses. Cause I know that Studio Clips is gonna be trying something that's gonna be a lot more similar to the manga. All in all, tries to do something different. Sure, it's not a one-to-one -one representation of what the actual manga is like, but it tries to capture that tone. It tries to capture at least one element perfectly. And just seeing it from that different perspective, I don't know, it's just special somehow. It feels completely different and new, but familiar at the same time. I've always been a big fan of this guy's work, but regardless, I'm still gonna be watching both of these when they come out. I mean, at the very least, they can't be as bad as 2016 Berserk, right? But with that, I think that rounds off what I wanted to talk about with the current standing of the Berserk animes going on. Tell me, how excited are you for Studio Clips' adaptation? Or even better, are there any other fan animations out there that you just absolutely love? Please, let me know down in the comments below. As always, I was Bayfond, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.